In a message from Adiala Jail, Rawal Pindi conveyed through his lawyers, Pakistan's legitimate Prime Minister Imran Khan urged the nation to participate vigorously in the peaceful demonstrations on November 24. He asked the nation to decide whether they would accept a life of slavery like Bahadur Shah Zafar or if they are ready to sacrifice their lives like Tipu Sultan did for the freedom of his country. Addressing the malicious propaganda against Mrs. Bushra Khan's speech, Mr. Khan stated that her words were twisted out of context by the imposed military-backed regime of Pakistan and that Imran Khan has always enjoyed excellent relations with Saudi Arabia and His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. Imran Khan added that Saudi Arabia has always stood by Pakistan in difficult times. Mrs. Bushra Khan conveyed arbitrarily detained Imran Khan's message to the nation, urging people of all ages and from all walks of life to join the protest in Islamabad on Sunday, November 24. She also addressed the legal community across Pakistan, urging them to join in with PTI's call for protests to establish rule of law, reinstate the constitution and democracy, and to free all unjustly incarcerated political prisoners who are still awaiting trial. Conveying a message through his wife, Imran Khan has sent a message to Pakistan's powerful quarters saying he does not seek revenge for the injustices committed against him. Imran Khan's Pakistan Tehreek e Insaf has invited the international press to cover its democracy march on the 24th of November. The purpose of this demonstration by PTI is to stage a peaceful protest demanding the restoration of the judiciary, the return of their stolen mandate, and the release of all political prisoners in state custody without trial. In its continuing attacks on freedom of information, Pakistan's illicit authoritarian regime is set to disrupt internet services once again ahead of PTI's protest. The Pakistan Telecommunications Authority has announced that it plans to activate its firewall a day before the protest suspending mobile services. This comes as the country's tech lobbies already warned that slow internet is throttling Pakistan's IT industry. President Vladimir Putin says Russian forces have fired a new intermediate-range ballistic missile at Ukraine in response to Kiev's use this week of U.S. and U.K.-made missiles in attacks on targets in Russia. Tensions have spiked in the past several days. Ukraine fired U.S. and British missiles at targets inside Russia this week, despite Moscow's warning that it would see such action as a major escalation.